Good afternoon, boys and girls. How are you all? Hope you are doing well. Good. Today we have a science class. Pre-K to three. The topic today is about sharing. How do we share together? Let's go and see what inside this topic. Let's move on. As we said before, our topic today is how do we share together? Every day we are learning new things by observing things around us, and we observe by using the five senses. Yeah, do you remember the five senses? Great. So we use them to observe everything around us in order. To share it with the others. I'll give you example for sharing. Actually, when we visit new places in our holidays, or even meeting new friends, when we just telling our friends about these places or the new friends that we've met. We are sharing new things with the others, or even if you like a new food you didn't see before or you didn't taste it before, it's a kind of share. So every day when we meet or see new people or new new things and telling the other about this, we are sharing together. Sharing can happen at a school as well. Teachers every day are sharing their ideas and new things with the children. Yeah, it's a kind of sharing. Even students with themselves, when they are sharing what they have learned at school, it's a kind of sharing. So sharing can happen everywhere. Can you tell us something you shared with your friends at school? Mm -mm. Think. Yes, reading a book or even seeing some pictures in a magazine together—it's a kind of sharing, and it happens always. This is a wonderful example for the word sharing. What can you see in this picture? I can see a group of children. One of them is reading a book, and the other they are listening. Look, they seem happy. Sure, they are learning new things together. Even the dog, he smiles. Good. And here it another example for the word sharing. Yeah. I can see two boys playing with puzzle, testing new ideas. It's a kind of sharing. Helping each other discover new things is a kind of sharing. Yeah. Let's see what they're gonna do with these puzzle. So one of the point that we've learned it today using the five senses helps. Me to share my ideas with the others. So again, one of the points that we've learned today using the five senses helps us to share the new ideas with our friends. Try to remember this point. Whenever you use the five senses and see new things, you have to share with the others. Every time you meet your friends, read together, or even listen to your wonderful stories, you will learn new things. Try to share it. The more you share, the more you learn. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Waiting for your mother's ideas about sharing together. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.